The murder rate in the Bahamas is untenable, and pressure upon the government and leaders of the day from every quarter is forcing them to think of ways to disrupt the lifestyles which are resulting in multiple murders a day, especially in the capital, Nassau. Prevention is key, but also on the rehabilitation and studies have exposed a trend that Minister of National Security Wayne Monroe says must meet its demise. A gang leader gets him and says, I'm going to make sure nobody fools with you. I'm going to make sure you get water. I'm going to make sure you get some money on your commissary. I'm going to make sure when I smuggle some dope into prison, because that happens as you have seen, I'm going to give you some. That young man is coming out in six months, nine months, 12 months. And when he comes out, he wasn't riding any gang when he went in. When he comes out, he may well and most likely will be riding a gang. And so the conditions in prison have to be addressed. That's the long game. And some may ask, how will intervention at the prison help? The minister says the shift to a dependence upon the state snatches recruitment power away from the gangs which have infiltrated the prison. That we intend to build a 800 bed facility which will have precast cells, nowhere to dig and hide cell phones, nowhere to dig and hide drugs, nowhere at all, state of the art with camera supervision and controlled access. And the reason for that is simple. We do not need our correctional facility being a place where people are recruited to gangs. DeAndre Hamilton reporting.